guys, what we've got here is a 2020 Series 5 Nissan Y62 Patrol. It's come to us on a train from Western Australia and it's arrived to us exactly how you see it. So it's already got the snorkel on it, it's got the airbox, a set of 35s, it's got a lift kit in it, it's a pretty clean car all round. We're going to do a before run on it and get an idea on the power and torque as well as the AFRs that it currently has because we're fitting a Harrop 2650 supercharger to it. So we'll be using the uni chip to live tune it on the dyno, which will also have full control over the boost as well as the auxiliary injectors. Okay, so like with all vehicles we tune at Dynamotive Unichip, we do a before run on it to get a baseline of where the vehicle's at. Um, this particular Y62 made 156 kilowatts and 350 newton meters, so it'll be really interesting to see where we end up with the supercharger on it. The Y62 is on the hoist now. We're about to get stuck into fitting the Harrop 2650 supercharger. Uh, we've gone down this path simply because we have got fuel control utilising the UniX and the auxiliary fuel injectors. There is another video explaining exactly how that works, which you can find on our YouTube channel. But for now, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so with the Harrop Supercharger kit we're fitting to this, the inner cooler is water to air base, meaning there's a heat exchanger that's mounted behind the grill in front of the radiator. It then uses an electric pump to cycle that water up into the supercharger, into the brick where the air is cooled. It then returns to the inner cooler heat exchanger to be cooled again. The Harrop Supercharger kit itself is very comprehensive. It obviously takes the place of the factory intake manifold. Prior to fitting the supercharger, I've welded the boss on for our auxiliary injectors as well as set it up for the boost control. All right, so we're just fitting the headers up to the Y62. Start off with the standard manifold, which is a log style manifold with really short runners. The aftermarket set of headers that we're fitting to it are a tri-wise setup. Longer pipes, less restrictive, make for a broader power range. Okay, so we're back on the dyno with the Y62. Up to this point, I've done some pre-power run and pre-power tuning preparation. So things like made sure that the supercharger in a cooler cooling system is bled up correctly, no air, it's flowing well. Made sure there's no fuel leaks around our auxiliary injectors or the fuel supplies. Made sure that our boost control is all sealing correctly. Uh, we're up at operating temperature now, so ready to give it a tune. So we've finished tuning up the supercharged Y62. It's come up an absolute treat. Before we get into the results, I'll go over a few things. The tuning was done on our chassis all wheel drive dyno, meaning that the power and torque measurement is done at all four wheels. The wheel and tire combination is exactly the same as what I used on the before run. So these absolute monsters have really, really made a huge difference. Now I'll go to the dyno screen. We'll go through some results. What you can see is it made 156.7 kilowatts at four wheels standard, 315 newton meters of torque. Now we're at 293.1 kilowatts and just a touch over 600 newton meters of torque, meaning we've picked up about 250 newton meters and 140 kilowatts at all four wheels. This thing is going to be an absolute monster. Okay, so I've finished tuning up the supercharged Y62. You've seen the results as to how it's gonna be driven on the street. I'm absolutely wrapped with it. But I've come across a few posts and it's almost becoming an industry standard at the moment, the rear wheel drive where the chassis or hub dyno seems to be the way to go. So I thought I'll have a bit of fun. I'll put in rear wheel drive. 
I'll put smaller tires on it and I'll pop the airbox lid up. Did another power on it, made 421.5 kilowatts and just under 800 newton meters of torque. So that gives you an idea on exactly how easy it is to change numbers around on a dyno depending on vehicle setup and dyno setup. Looking at those numbers there, I dare say this is probably up there with one of Australia's most powerful Y62s, especially if you're looking at 420 kilowatts at the wheels, as well as probably one of the, uh, the most exciting. So should be good fun to drive. testing the Y62 that we've done all this work on. It's been an absolute awesome job. It's been detailed. Of course, now it's raining because it's always the way. This thing has not disappointed me in any way. It's on huge tires. The thing weighs as much as an army tank. And this is absolute animal. It just keeps pulling right through the rev range. The throttle response is absolutely incredible. You can hear the supercharger, which sounds unreal. And the, uh, and the torque. Customers had a long line of dialogue with Dynamotive about discussing this build, what he was chasing, the performance he was after, and I truly believe we've exceeded that result. I think he's gonna be absolutely wrapped with the outcome. Uh, so keep in mind, you don't have to be local, you don't even have to be in Victoria in order to get your car built and, uh, and tuned to Dynamotive. We've got plenty that come to us from interstate, on transporters, on trains, etc. So if you've got a plan, if you've got an idea in mind of what you're trying to achieve as far as your engine build right through to any performance work tuning etc drop us a line or shoot us an email get in touch with us and we can discuss what we can do and and when we can get it done for you